Hello everybody. So today's video is actually on um, procedure day itself. And I thought no better way to explain what the procedure is going to be like than to actually go through the procedure myself and document the whole thing. So I hope you find this helpful. I'll see you at my procedure day. Hello everybody, Dr. Nalani here. So I'm here at my procedure day. I got my button up shirts and I got my prescriptions. I arrange right home. I want to take a few minutes to actually walk you through what your procedures day is going to be like. So right now we're at our location in River North, Northwestern Med Spa. It's a nice, quiet, private space to have your procedure. It's at 3 East Huron. That's where we're going to meet at 745 the day of. The first thing you notice is we have a fully decked out kitchen. So if you want a snack or any drinks during the day, we have everything you need. Uh, we're also going to be ordering lunch for you. So don't worry about bringing anything with you. Here we are. So here we are in our procedure room. This is actually where we perform most of our air transplant procedures. And immediately you can see it's equipped with all the state-of-the-art clinical technology we expect on Northwestern, um, as well as some nice luxury amenities like a big screen TV that you can use to watch uh, in the afternoon. Today we're actually going to be using SmartGraft um, as a technology to extract my hairs. Uh, SmartGraft is one of several technologies we have. We've used NeoGraft in the past, as well as manual devices. Essentially every device has been on the market we've evaluated and tested, but this is what we're going to use particularly today. So now that you guys have gotten a tour of our facilities, we're going to go ahead down for my haircut, which is the first step of the day. So I'm going to meet you down there and we'll talk more about the salon we have on site. So here we are everybody, we're down in Medina Barbershop, owned by Ron. Ron's been a barber for 54 years, and you can see it's a nice classic place where you get your hair cut today. So during the day of the procedure, we're actually going to shave down the back of your head um, and the sides. That's going to allow us to extract your grafts. Myself, however, I'm going to go ahead and get my whole head shaved um, so we can actually make some aftercare videos so you can see how my grafts are growing in. So I'm going to go ahead and get started um, to get my hair cut. All right, so I just got my hair cut. Um, on the day of your procedure, this is most likely what you're gonna look like. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start buzzing my hair. I need a little bit of emotional privacy, so I'll just uh, meet you guys up at the procedure uh, where Carmen will start evaluating the hairs and planning out the procedure. So I'll see you up there. Yeah, you can see all the miniaturization right here in the front. See the difference? Oh, right here, in the mid scalp. Your recession angle here goes further back than this side, so we'll bring this up to match the other side. And then we'll kind of go behind that so we can add some density throughout here. Because she has some thinning here, so it looks like it's going to potentially move back further. So we're going to go into that hair there slightly with hair grafts. And those will be micrographs. What are your thoughts? I do like it. So right now what I'm going to do is map out the donor area. I'm just marking the area that we're going to harvest. I'm also going to use the densometer just to look through and see what the density consists of. We don't like to go any more than 10%. So let's see what we have. So he has roughly 72 hairs per centimeter. Okay, so our next step is going over um, medical questionnaire, um, verifying what medications he's currently taking, if there's any allergies or any medical conditions that we need to be aware of. After we're done with all this, we'll start the anesthetic. All right, Vinay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna start doing your numbing back here, okay? Mm -hmm. If you need a break, you just let me know, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so now, now I'm going through the numbing process. Carmen is injecting local anesthesia into my scalp. Um, the purpose of this is to make sure I don't feel anything during the rest of the procedure, but obviously a couple of needle injections um, and some burning sensation is what bothers people the most. But as you can see, I'm going through the process as we're talking and it's actually better than I expected. All right, so now we're gonna start the harvesting process. Um, he's been fully anesthetized and we will start extracting from the donor area. He shouldn't feel any of this. If he does, he'll let us know and we can add more anesthesia. Hey guys, so I'm here. Um, we're doing the harvesting process. Um, Carmen is working back there getting the uh, hair grafts out uh, during the first part of the procedure. Um, she's numbing me up. 
and I can't feel anything. Uh, it's actually a pretty comfortable process for myself. So what Carmen's actually doing is selecting individual hairs that are appropriate uh, for my scalp. Since we'll be grafting my hairline, those are usually hairs with, uh, or grafts with one or two hairs in them, and probably nothing more. But yeah, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, you know, if I wanted to, I could take a nap right now, but uh, it's uh, some point that I kind of walk you through what I'm feeling. All right, so we just finished up our morning. That involved taking out the grafts, and now is the time for lunch. A lot of good restaurants in the area. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, we'll take about a 30 minute to 60 minute break, and then we'll be back to put in the new hairs. Hi guys, we're gonna take a little quick look behind the scenes as I was getting my procedure and as Carmen's preparing for the next phase. Delia is actually preparing the grafts that were collected out of the back of my head. So it's a very important process. You guys probably won't ever get to see this. It takes a lot of skill that um, Dee's always been doing this for more than a decade. So really trust her at going about your grafts too. Hi right guys, we're back now and right now we're prepping the insertion sites and we're going through the nubbing part. And it's just like we did previously, a couple of pricks in the burn, actually a lot less than I previously expected. But once it's all done, it'll be totally numb and we'll make the sites for the new hairs to grow in. All right, so once you're in the process where you're in the chair and upright for the rest of the afternoon, you actually have a couple options for your TV. Uh, we have Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, and ESPN. And we also have a Facebook portal where you can call any one of your family members and just kind of catch up with them since you'll have a couple hours to relax. The next part we're going to do is make the openings for um, the grafts um, in the recipient area. This is like where Carmen's like skill really comes out because she has to do two things. She has to keep a kind of broad perspective on what my hairlines look like and also like a very micro perspective on how these hairs are lined up towards each other and their angles and whatnot. She has to be methodical but random at the same time to get a really natural look. And, you know, watching her do this in the past, it's kind of like a very interesting process where she will kind of look at an area and then all of a sudden make four random or five random slots for the hairs. And that's really how you get a natural result. And it's really a skill and an art. And guys, this is the final part. I'm finally getting my hairs in place. I'm watching a little TV about the bulls the last season. It's kind of relaxing all numbed up and this will be the last phase. One of the keys that they're doing now is seeding this follicle at the exact right depth where this hair will be healthy but we won't have any pitting or bumps in the scalp. So then we should be done maybe like in an hour and a half, two hours and that'll be a wrap. Guys, we're all done with the procedure. All the grafts are in. Uh, my dressing is off. We're going to clean everything up and put any dressing on. But yeah, we're all finished. It's a pretty comfortable procedure. Didn't really feel anything. And it's one o'clock with a very long lunch break, so pretty fast. All right, guys. So that's everything. Thank you, Carmen. You're Thank welcome. you, Dee, for a beautiful transplant. Did a great job, and I'm looking forward to seeing results.